This is Jason with Meguiar's Clocks, and today we're going to take a look at a Howard Miller Limited Edition Model 610505, the Beacon Hill. This was Howard Miller's top of the line model back in 1995. We have restored the mechanical unit. It is a real Kenninger movement, not the Howard Miller series. Triple chime, nighttime silence. This is model number 497 of a thousand made. It has an open fretwork top. Howard Miller claims that this is hand carved and upon close inspection I believe it is. This clock has a number of different woods in it. The main body of the case is going to be cherry. Uh, the inlays are satin wood, ebony wood, mahogany, and madrone burl, which is a rare form of burl. The carving carries through to the bottom here. Multiple different inlaid features here on the base and the door. And then around here on the side, if I can get in good here, we have the inlay on the side also. Multiple different steps in the inlay. Nice carved caps at the bottom here. And then these reeded columns. And the front columns are about three quarters full and the rear ones are a half cap. You go up, you have more carving here in the top. Howard Miller also claims that those are hand carved. Seems to be true. And this is your Madrone burl up here in this inlay. It's a really pretty burl wood. And that's carried through over on the other side also. But the real the real feature on this is that carved top and base. I'm gonna go ahead and open the door here and show you the weights and the pendulum and the dial. Uh, this actually has Roman numerals in it, which is kind of unusual. Pretty much every clock we get on the floor here has Arabic numerals on it. Uh, I actually personally like this one. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, you get the brass with the etched lunar system instead of the painted one. A little bit nicer. Uh, Feature-wise, you have all the features you can have on the chime system. This side controls your music portion. You can turn the chime off or have it play any of three chimes, Westminster, St. Michael, and Whittington. Over here, this controls your strike on the hour and the nighttime shutoff. So you can have this play 24-7. You can have it shut off at night at 10 p.m., come back on at 7.15 a.m. in the morning. You can have it just chime and not strike the hour or just strike the hour and not chime. Uh, pretty much every option available pan over here onto this door so this is the only level of Howard Miller that gets this treatment all the glass is held in by this cut and beveled wood with screws uh, and they're beginning level clocks this will all just be a rubber seal and then even in the presidential model uh, you get wood in here but it's just tacked in and it's not this thick of a piece of wood it's just a half cap you can see the wood's also very nice inside the case, not just on the outside. The clock is finished everywhere. Nice big brass hinges on the door, and the whole door is inlaid. I mean, there's very little that is not. And just pretty much this middle break right here is the only thing that's not inlaid, but then you have this across there. All the doors are hinged instead of just pull-out panels. And again, 
screwed in pieces of wood. Now on this movement, here's the Kenninger movement. They brass plate the rods just to make them look nicer. And this Kenninger movement is actually polished also, front and back and inside. Uh, we don't replace this movement. Uh, it's designed to be rebuilt. It's a really good quality movement. So we take it out and completely rebuild it from the ground up. Anything that it needs. This one, however, didn't need much. This one was a one owner clock. Customers out of San Antonio had two homes, one in San Antonio, one elsewhere. And this was in their home in San Antonio. So it was only used about half the time. So simple cleaning and oiling and replacing the winding arbor bushings was all it needed. I'll show you the weights here now. Weights have a really nice etching in it. Only clock that has this, uh, even the later Devonshire that has nice weights in it. They're not etched like this. They're actually caps up here and they look similar to some of the other clocks. Also, the only one that has the pendulum that looks like this etched all the way up through the Lear. Even the little relief in here is etched. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful clock. It's 91 inches tall, so it's not a short clock. It's a nice size, nice depth to it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the chimes on it. I'm going to open this side door just to make sure we can hear them through the video recorder. So I have it on Whittington. show you Westminster now. Uh, this one actually has another feature to it. it. On the chime side selection it has an automatic feature on it right here. And what that will do is in that position it will rotate through all three songs. I think it rotates through each one over a course of about three hours or so or four. Uh, it will play the same song for about four hours and then rotate to the next one which is kind of a cool feature. pan up here just to show you this. I just realized this is that Madrone Burl. You might be able to see it a little bit better. And then one more thing. I'm going to show you these hands. Only the limited edition one comes with these hands. They're really, really thick. Most of the hands, even the presidential model ones, will have a little bit thinner hand. Uh, but Howard Miller spares no expense on their fancy clocks. So that is the Howard Miller Beacon Hill, model 610505. You can find us at 512-452-4558, mcguiresclocks.com. 
and on Facebook under McGuire's Clocks. Thank you.